What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be talking about the Chicago Bulls and Orlando Magic injury updates. Now, at the end of the day, we're at the stage with about a week and a, and a couple of days to go where probably the teams with the healthiest, I guess, players and not a whole lot of injuries on their team. Other teams that are probably going to be more successful down the stretch. And it looks like that's going to be the case in this game. But the Bulls still in a must-win situation against a very difficult team to beat. We have yet to beat the Orlando Magic this season. And knowing that they are coming into this game very, very healthy, will that be a big concern for the Bulls? We're going to have to discuss this in this video. But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and or subscribe if you are new. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Bulls and their chances to beat this healthy Orlando Magic team. Now, I want to quickly just get out of the way the Orlando Magic injury update because there's only one injury here that apparently is significant, and that is Caleb Houston with an ankle injury is listed as questionable to play against the Bulls. So that's 50-50, as you guys are well aware. 50% chance he may play with a 50% chance he may miss the game. But that is all the injuries that the, that the Orlando Magic have. So... That's going to be difficult. Again, we versus Orlando fairly healthy for the most part for the three times that we played them. But at the end of the day, it's still been difficult every step of the way, even when we have been healthy. And knowing what the Bulls have to face in this game with potential injury concerns is going to be a big problem. So I guess now we've got to turn to the Chicago Bulls side of things. We're going to start off with Alex Caruso. With his ankle injury, he is listed as questionable to play against the Orlando Magic. That is a 50-50 chance. Again, if you guys didn't see, he did roll his ankle in that last game. I think it was Brunson that stepped on his ankle. It hasn't been a big amount of time I guess uh, recovery and whatnot so there could be a big question mark about whether he plays keep in mind Alex Caruso needs to play 20 plus minutes in two out of his next five games in order to be eligible for the all NBA defensive team so the Bulls and Caruso have a predicament here do they kind of accept that even if we do enter the playing tournament and we walk out into the playoffs, there's not much of a future there? So go and get Alex Crusoe's individual award? Or do we decide, let's rest him? You know, we're, we're guaranteed to be in the playing tournament here. We don't need to rush him back. Take the break, take the rest, and have him completely ready for the playing tournaments and for the playoffs if we get there. There's a big question and a big argument there for the Bulls, and we just have to wait and see which one will end up happening. But I do suspect that Alex Crusoe will play in this game, and I do believe he'll play over 20 minutes because I think that's a given every time he does play. So it's just about which games he will play in between the two out of five. It could be the last two games of the season. It could just be playing two now and rest him for the rest of the season. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be very important to have him around, especially if you want home court advantage in the playing tournament. Kobe White... With his ankle injury listed as questionable to play, he did leave the game, I believe, in the second quarter, and he did not return. To me, it didn't even seem like he had an injury. He literally ran to the locker room like he was completely fine, but it turns out he does have an injury uh, in terms of his left ankle. Now, Kobe White, let's be honest with ourselves. He's been very, very good in the first half of the season. Since the post-All-Star break, his efficiency has definitely been taken down a lot for the Bulls. But what I still like about Kobe White is his effort on the defensive end for the most part and the fact that he is still a threat. Teams respect him enough for him to be a liable threat for the Chicago Bulls on any given night. And that is always going to be hard to, I guess, see go. And that's why I do want him to play in this game against Orlando because you never know. He could catch fire this game against Orlando and that could give us a victory that we very much need so we can take the extra step over Atlanta at this point in time. And I think we definitely see teams play differently when Kobe White is out of the lineup. It's almost like it's a sigh of relief in many ways. Even if he doesn't have the best efficiency night, Kobe White, he's still a threat. And teams would respect that enough. So it's going to be a bad sight if we see Kobe White out of this game. But we know the Bulls are very good at adjusting. Again, um, we've got three injury, season-ending injuries. We've had to adapt just to even get to the 9th seed, to that category. And even now, Julian Phillips, we don't know when he's going to return. So we've had to do a lot of adapting over the last season. And then we've got Torrey Craig. Knee injury listed as probable to play against the Orlando Magic. Probable is a 75% chance likelihood he will play the game. And again, you know, I want to see Torrey Craig play. Has he been the best player since he's returned? Absolutely not. 
but he's a viable bench option, plays physical basketball, can really get some good, you know, a, a good momentum on the defensive end, and he helps us with the physicality side of the game. Orlando, you know, I wouldn't necessarily call them the most physical team you've ever seen, but I would classify them as more physical than the Bulls are because sometimes they play the bigger lineup. Sometimes they do like to play a little bit of that bully ball and drive right to the rim and force things to happen and stuff of that nature. And they've got good scorers around them, especially in the elite forward categories. Guys like Wagner, uh, uh, Wagner, I guess you could say, and Bankira. You know, there's a lot of guys there for Orlando from the forward positions that can cause damage. So we need Toy Craig. Otherwise, we're going to be massively undersized in those areas. We probably already are still massively undersized. But we will be even more undersized if we don't fix those areas of our game. So, yeah, that's the injury report. I would suggest the Bulls are not likely to win this game considering that Orlando, you know, they're trying to have a good, strong end to the season. They want to continue to ad ad develop their game and give themselves a favorable opponent in the playoffs. And for the Bulls, we're fighting for the ninth seed. But what I will say is this. We have a record of beating good teams this season. We have beaten some of the best teams in the Eastern Western Conference this season. Orlando's up there. We haven't beat them yet, but, you know, all it takes is one. And this one could be the most important one of them all for the Bulls. So wait and see how it goes. I hate that this game is so early in the morning, but I guess that's my tough luck. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching. Drop a like and a follow and or subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.